Hey YouTube, Brian here. <clears throat> so last night I just discovered this website that has a whole bunch of uh, catalog scans of from Sears catalogs, Montgomery Rewards catalogs, and JC Penny catalogs. And I kind of and I took a look through a lot of the catalog scans for JC Penny, at least from 1990 on up, because I wanted to see what. Uh, what vacuums and such they had on sale at the time and see the progression of technology. And I figured I'd share that with you. I'm on the first page where they have, looks like they have carpet shampoos and floor polishers. Um, there's the Regina Steamer Carpet Cleaner, which I think is something that Oric bought in the late 90s. There's also the Hoover Scrub and Vac. That's the precursor. I guess that's a precursor to the to the floor mate, I think. Because it has a pickup ability so it can suck water into a separate water chamber. I'm not sure where the water chamber it would be on that machine, but it seems pretty cool that it's, a, that it's not like a, like a compact like floor buffer and burnisher, but it's also can also like clean up your messes. Something like like I said, like a floor mate or most other hard floor washers can. I thought this was interesting. Bissell Power Lifter. It pretty much. So I thought they had introduced. I thought the little green clean machine was their first uh, compact shampooer. But no, it was this one. And I think that's where they got the name for the for their brush roll technology. These on their their uprights from. And that little machine, the Power Lifter. That's again. It, that's a self-contained spot shampoo. So obviously, you don't need a faucet hook up. The Power Steamer Deluxe. If anyone use that, yes, you probably do. It does need would need a faucet hookup. I think my mom and I think this one. Yeah, and the Carpet Machine Plus. They also it also needs a carp uh, faucet hookup. You don't see those, and you don't really see those kinds of machines anymore. Like ones that are canister type and that require a faucet hookup. My mom used to. Use a have a carpet abyssal carpet champ for you know for a small while that required a faucet hookup and it seems like if just it's only to like a few years ago Bissell like was selling a canister style carpet shampoo or it was called the big Bissell big green complete but there was also a vacuum cleaner as well kind of like the original big green clean machine but except the difference was the big green complete was water filtration. Um, yeah, kind of interesting. That's like back in 1990. There's a second page. There's Elite 200. Somebody did not set up the bag correctly on that one. I'm pretty sure they didn't read the ma manual on how to uh, assemble it because I think the bag's supposed to be folded. So that's why it looks silly like that. I think that later, this platform later we used for, I think, the Hoover Encore line of machines. Which was, you know, like, bomb of the line uh, vacuums. They also used that for the commercial line, some of their commercial uprights. I love the look of the Eurekas here. Especially the boss. And that's not just the boss, it's an ESP boss. I'm not sure what ESP means. I guess I've, if I had a guess, and I'll I'll look it up. You know, I'll ask somebody that, that knows a lot more about ESP Eurekas than I do. But I think it means it has a maybe the fan is has more fins on it to allow more air. But I think that's how it works. Plus, those Eurekas had the vibro rumor brush roll. Especially the Eureka Ultra there. That's also the SP. I think that was Eureka's answer to the Hoover Elite. Their first answer to the Hoover Elite. Their best answer to the Hoover Elite. They also they later on sold Bravo, the Eureka Bravo uprights, but if I had to pick between the Bravo and the Ultra, I would 
hands down pick the Ultra. It's got the Viber Groomer brush roll. I think the, the fan design is pretty much just like the FNG uprights. And it still has a front mounted bag, makes it, you know makes it easier to access the bag. So easily hands down Eureka Ultra. There's a vintage Panasonic upright. Yes, back when Panasonic was still made at vacuums and they were still and they were actually really good in quality. Panasonic had always been really good in quality. Little fun fact, I think Panasonic bought the clean air design from Hoover. I think it was back in the 70s. 70s or 80s. That's why in the 90s all the Hoovers were all... Um, all the uprights were direct air because they did not have... Patents to the clean air design anymore. I think they sold them to Panasonic. It says, you know, so Panasonic took that and run, ran with it. Of course, later on in the 90s, Hoover, I guess the clean air patent would expire. And so Hoover jumped back into with clean air uprights with the wind tunnel. And there's the legacy. Here's the legacy machines. The legacies are pretty much just like Elite, just like the Hoover Elites. The only major difference between the legacy and Elite is that the legacy's hose is pre attached. To the machine, whereas the elite with tool hookup, you'd have to connect it uh, to the tool port. And so, and with the legacies, if you have a legacy or if you haven't seen one, the to switch it to tools, all you would have to do on the legacy would be to take the carpet high adjustment slider and slide it all the way to cleaning tools, and that diverts the suction airflow from. The cleaner head to the hose, or from the brush roll nozzle area to the hose, and that enables you to clean your above floor surfaces. And I think that's also isn't that the stretch hose? Let me see, let me look here. Mm, which one is this one? Six. Yeah, double stretch hose. That's kind of a premium feature. I, th I always thought that was a premium feature, like back, especially back in the day, like a, a, a stretch hose, like a double stretch hose, was probably like a premium feature. Because almost every other vacuum had just had a standard hose, but a, a stretch hose was really fancy. There's the Guardsman. Looks like that's based off of convertible design. Eureka Precision, their most powerful upright. Basically, it looks like it kind of looks like a, a concept one knockoff in a sort of way. I think it's an FNG machine. There's Eureka self propelled upright. And there you got the crappy ass Regina Kowski for plus. God, Regina's were, were terrible back then. It seemed like they were. It seemed like Regina vacuums were fine in the sixties, maybe back in earlier days, like sixties, maybe fifties, sixties, seventies. But then, like in the nineties, eighties, and nineties, they just um, their quality tanked, and that's why they went out of business. Though Regina did. Do something right, or that they were notable for. They were the first brand to have onboard attachments on their machines. So the Housekeeper series, those models were the first ones to have the onboard attachments. So you can thank Regina for having, you know, for the idea of an onboard hose and onboard attachments. We could brush up. There's carpet sweepers. Standard fair stick vax. The Eureka Freedom, I wanted to mention that machine was definitely ahead of its time. It was ahead of its time because it was a full size cordless upright. Now, today, cordless full size battery powered uprights are commonplace. You can easily find one 
Ran into a vulnerable, can find one easily. And they do the job pretty well. But back in 1990, or at least very late 80s, early 90s, this is kind of a new concept. It was a new uh, novel, novel concept, but also very new. Um, but again, it was way ahead of its time because back then they did not have lithium ion batteries. They only had nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydride, or lead acid batteries uh, available for rechargeable technology. The Eureka Freedom used lead acid batteries. That is why there is no footage, no videos whatsoever today of any Eureka Freedom vacuum running today because the batteries for these machines have all worn out. And the cat's being, the cat's being pissy. Like, let me see, what number is that? Eight. So the 12 used a 12 volt battery that ran for 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes. And from a fully depleted state, it required 16 hours to charge. Can you imagine sitting waiting 16 hours for the battery to charge? You would have to plan your cleaning ahead of time, and I'm, so I'm not sure if they sold very well or if, or if they did. They probably didn't last very long. I love the Eureka Floor Show. That's that I never seen one in person yet, but that's pretty neat. It looks it's basically a mighty might with an electric power head. I thought that's pretty neat. That's like something that that looks like looks like it's perfect for somebody who has smaller living space, dorm rooms, stuff like that, and just needs a smaller canister. Then you got some of your full size offerings, like from Hoover. This is back when Hoover still offered full size canisters. Special ones, power heads. There's one for that has a straight suction head. There's actually a smaller one that's kind of like a mighty mite. That's the Tempo, and the full size model is the Futura. But that would be perfect for, like I said, bare floors. If you just had, like, if you just had bare floors, you know, you didn't really have a whole lot of carpet. Me, or if you just had just primary bare floors, that's it. Yeah, furniture. That would have been perfect. But if I was going to get a full-size canister, I'd want something with a power head so I can actually clean carpets. Because a straight suction head is not going to deep clean your carpets. And there's back then there, then top of the line, uh, canister vac, the Hoover Spectrum. I think they had a quadruplex agitator. Then there's Eureka's offerings. Eureka Ironsides. And the Eureka Express Power Team. These are both pretty cool. I've like, seen an ad on YouTube. like Somebody posted a commercial... Of the Eureka Express on YouTube, and I, it looked pretty cool. It's, you have to see it. it's like a futuristic kind of looks like eight very eighties. <coughs> That's a pretty cool caster. I'd probably if I wouldn't do a box, that would be really cool and also be really useful. So it looks like that's it for this clip. I'll do more videos of this, more catalog scans. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please feel free to read, comment, subscribe. I'll do more videos, try to whatever I can, whether it be commercials or videos like this, stuff like that. So, hope you guys have a great day.